So <coughs> let's see what some yoga sounds like. I'm on a soft mat on the floor and I'm following a routine by a company called gmb.io. I'm not sponsored by them at all, so this is not a paid promotion, but they do a pretty awesome course which is quite easy to follow and um, lets you pace yourself and lets you choose hard and easy and it's really very well structured, one of the best courses I've come across. So we'll give that a go. I'll turn the audio off on this. So this is about exercising mobility for hips. So you choose how long you would like to exercise for. So I'm just going to choose 15 minutes and you get the option to extend if things are going well. turn this audio off. Okay, it starts off with the standing knee to chest. 30 seconds per side. said this exercise routine is really pretty good and it's a one where you just have to do it a little bit each day you don't have to commit to a massive amount of time and actually I've noticed because I do it regularly and it's not too taxing my flexibility just increases gradually and strength increases gradually over a number of weeks so you just can relax not thinking about making a massive amount of progress per session just a little bit at a time and it works pretty well I have the binaural head just on the floor mat so this probably sounds well it might sound like I'm above can't really detect if it's coming from above but you never know I'll have to have a listen of that okay so I'm kneeling down now, so let's try the next exercise, single leg deadlift, this is pretty good for your balance, okay it gives you a countdown to start and then we'll do the single leg deadlift. This really is a good exercise for stretching your hamstrings and you keep one leg straight, reach forwards and put your other leg behind you, called a single leg deadlift, really good for your balance and hamstring stretching. Pretty good for strengthening as well supporting all of your weight on one leg whilst you reach down to touch the ground okay <coughs> that one finished now so cracking knees well, I am quite ancient so it's understandable okay this one is called supine hip circles so you have to lie on your back and you hug one knee to your chest and with the other leg you do um, some gentle circles to relax and open the hips so we'll give that a go just 30 seconds per side. As I mentioned, it's uh, the good thing about this routine is that you don't feel like you're doing too much because they're just little chunks and you can stop and start if you want to. You can continue the session the next day. 
it does a kind of check in with you to see how much energy you've gotten if you want to continue or just finish uh, the session that day spend a little less time so it's nice because it a lot of these sessions don't take into account how you're feeling and if you're feeling crappy and low energy you might not want to continue so I do like this and I've kept going much longer than any other routine I think this is about the 20th day I've been doing this and it must have I don't know 40 at least 40 or 50 days worth of exercises of which you can repeat if you like particular exercises so this one supine hip circles to open and relax the hips and it's quite good trying to relax the hips i'm trying to learn how to do the pommel horse at the minute and i ended up buying the pommel horse from some Romanian gymnasts. I bought it on eBay and some ex-Romanian gymnasts were selling an old-fashioned pommel horse and I've bought one of those and that is incredibly difficult and I'm just starting out on that but uh, that requires a lot of hip flexibility so uh, I'm doing this routine to try and help a little bit with that. Okay, how do I feel? Ready, feeling good, ready to rock. So it gives you a little choice there in the application. Okay, oh, this is a tricky one. Modified pigeon stretch. So this really is quite difficult. Uh, no, it's not difficult. It's just my hips aren't very flexible. So I'm sitting on the ground with one leg underneath me kind of semi-crossed and then the other leg behind me and I'm leaning doing this modified pigeon stretch leaning forward and it stretches your kind of glutes and hips and it's pretty good exercise you really feel it if you've got tight hips but again it doesn't take very long you know but 30 or 40 seconds per side and it feels like you're not really doing so much but you know if you do this every day for 30 days and if it's easy every day you tend to do a little bit every day and little by little like the tortoise and the hare the tortoise kind of wins and your flexibility improves a little bit each day and before you know it you start seeing improvements over the long term Okay, we switch sides there. Do the other hip. Okay, here we go. That's modified pigeon stretch. be able to hear the clock outside chiming I live on a high street and I have a huge clock opposite me which is great except if you're trying to go to sleep and it starts chiming at two or three in the morning it's not so much fun okay now going to do a kneeling lunge so I'm kneeling on one knee stretching the other leg out in front of me in a lunge position and the idea here is that you're stretching your I think it's your hip flexors or hip I think it's the hip flexors not the hip adductors hip flexors I think this is for this is a good one if you you're a runner as well because you runner or rowers you tend to have tight hip flexor muscles and if you're sitting down a lot each day if you're working on computers like a lot of people you end up sitting in a chair and your hip flexors shorten naturally because you're in a sitting position a lot 
and you tend to have uh, tight hip flexors and you end up having a bit of hip pain or even back pain so the kneeling lunge is a good one for opening up the hip flexors be interested to hear how this room sounds I don't normally record anything in here I've got a large gymnastics mat on the floor which is totally inappropriate for a living room but believe me when you're practicing pommel force you really don't want to fall off onto a hard floor so you do want something soft so this shouldn't be too reflective the sounds in this room you'll be able to hear oh there's my knees again um, that doesn't hurt by the way. I don't know why they uh, crack, but it uh, doesn't hurt. Okay, this one is called the half frog. So you're lying down again, one leg behind you and one leg to the side. And the idea is that you are opening up your hips again as you move your thigh away from the hip and lean forwards into the half frog so I'd give this a go and this one's pretty good as well I like this because you almost can lie down and fall asleep I'm sure it's not designed for that but uh, sometimes if you're a bit tired it it is tempting just to uh, close your eyes and uh, go to sleep on the floor. <laughs> okay, almost done on this side. Let's swap to the other side. Okay. Half frog. Okay. Here we go. done let's see what we have next uh, butterfly oh this is where you kind of sit as though you're going to cross your legs but you press the soles of your feet together in front of you so and then you kind of try and pull them towards you and push one of your knees down and you're basically trying to open up your hips a little bit here so you're pressing down on one of your hips as you rotate a little bit in the opposite direction to you pushing down and I'm definitely incredibly unflexible in the butterfly the nice thing about the routine is that what they say is that the, the goal of each time you do the stretching is not to you know get super flexible but just to be a little bit more fluid uh, each session that you go and you know sometimes the movements that you do are very clunky and inelegant but sometimes you have a session where you realize oh you're a little bit more fluid and so if you just give the goal for yourself for each session to be a little bit more fluid and that, that's quite a nice goal because it's quite a low expectation just a little bit more fluid each time you do it so we'll swap legs on the butterfly now so again pushing down on one knee kind of sitting with the soles of my feet out in front of me You'll probably be able to hear a little bit of street traffic outside as well. I live on a high street, so it's pretty noisy with a lot of cars going backwards and forwards. So 
buses and uh, delivery vans and you might be able to hear some people as well you can hear I'm a few floors up but you can hear people on the high street you can hear the sound carry through the the old windows okay we are done on the butterfly what next okay frog okay the frog stretch you literally don't even know how to describe this you're on your elbows and knees facing the floor and your elbows just support you leaning forward your knees are wider than your hips and your toes and feet turned out to the side and you're just trying to find a position where you can stretch all of your hip muscles as you rock and pivot backwards and forwards so this is called the frog this is quite an intense stretch especially if you've got tight hips like a lot of people including me so I don't try to go too extreme on this just a little bit more fluid each time I do it the thing is if you make the stretching so uncomfortable and so agonizing and difficult you'll just not do it regularly you'll do it once and you'll just make excuses for not doing it again so it's better just to do a little bit each time and just feel like you're getting a bit more fluid each time you uh, do the stretching until over the long term you start to get some improvements okay done on the frog okay this is a wrist stretch so you're on your knees here and you put your hands out in front of you but you reverse the palms to point towards you um, bit of a strange one but this is pretty good especially when I'm practicing the pommel horse a lot of that is uh, very heavy on the wrists um, whether you're on the pommel handles themselves or whether you take the pommel handles off you bear most of your weight on your wrists and forearms okay and then all you do is just gently with this one mini rocking backwards and forwards stretching the tendons and the ligaments no perhaps not the ligaments so much perhaps the tendons and the muscles in your arms and your forearms and your wrists and this is a really good stretch this is a one where you can feel a lot of intensity and you know that um, you've got a lot a long way to go before you get a, a greater degree of flexibility but for the most part most people every day don't need huge amounts of wrist flexibility but if you are doing some gymnastics or other exercises it definitely helps to uh, strengthen and relax them okay now we've completed that so the the next section is called play and this is nice because it's kind of it's not normal stretching you kind of goof around on the floor a little bit and you're putting some movement and stretching and turning into play so it's more about mobility and um, yeah this is pretty interesting so this first one is called monkey and really you're just kind of in a squat so you squat it down on the floor um, as though you're sitting down with your knees fully bent and you probably did this a lot as a kid and if you're an adult you probably don't do much of this at all and then what you're doing is kind of a little like a, a monkey you put your arms on the floor and kind of 
use them to lift yourself up and uh, move your body around like a monkey does with all fours. And so you kind of pivot yourself around on the floor. And a bit of rotation. And it's pretty good. It uh, combines mobility with strength and flexibility. And it's a bit fun and you kind of, it's quite playful. Very handy if you're playing with your children or friends' children and they're scurrying around on the floor. And as any adult knows, that's not so easy when you get older, but this is actually good, good preparation for giving you a bit more flexibility for scurrying around. Okay, so that's Monkey 180. Let's have a look. So this one's called Floating Tabletop. It's more of a static movement where, again, you're on hands and knees shoulder width apart and you kind of raise your knees up. Hands on the floor, knees on the floor, feet on the floor, then you raise your knees up just hovering above the floor and you keep your back kind of solid and your stomach solid. This one's pretty good. It lasts for a minute but it looks deceptively, deceptively easy. But after about 30 seconds, you can feel a little bit of burn. You don't have to hold the whole position for the full minute. You can come out of it and relax depending upon how you're feeling and whether your body's telling you to take a little break or whether you can just hold the position and kind of power through. So we're at 30 seconds now. And, okay, here we go. Last 20 seconds coming up. Okay. And five, four, three, two, one. Okay, that was the floating tabletop. Ah, okay, this is one of my favourites. Definitely feels like you're opening the hips up here. This one's called the Sumo Frogger. Uh, again, this is gmb.io. Um, I really, I mean, I bought this course. It was pretty expensive. Well, I don't know if it was expensive. It was... Uh, I don't know, $99, but if that keeps you fit and it gives you kind of, I don't know, like 60 days of exercise, that's that's pretty cheap in my eyes. Okay, sumo frogger. This one, you really are hopping around a bit like a frog, which sounds ridiculous, but actually it is very good. You've got a wide stance. Uh, you lower into the wide stance and hop around. It really does open your hips up. You put your weight onto your hands and kind of hop forwards. And it's very good if you've got very tight hips. There's the clock ringing in in the background. be interested to see how this sounds. It's going to sound all a bit crazy with an iPad. Binaural headset and some sort of yoga stretching. Uh, noisy carpet in a strange room. Okay. Well. I think we're done.
get to record a little bit about the feedback of how it went, how much effort it was, how you're feeling, and if you've got any notes about particular feelings or exercises, you can jot that down. Okay, let's enter that. Good. Well, hope you enjoyed your binaural stretching yoga. I bet that's going to be a little bit weird, but anyway, let's take a listen. Bye bye.